Hello and welcome to the Be Encouraged, Be Inspired podcast with me, Kumbi Ayo Okonawo. My mission is to encourage and inspire you and I'll be doing this through the Word of God from a Christian Bible and through life experiences to cheer you on, motivate you and support you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of the Be Encouraged, Be Inspired podcast with me, Kumbi. This show is here to empower you with words of encouragement and or inspiration that will make an impact in your day-to-day life. I hope you're all doing well. I have been MIA uh, for uh, the past three weeks. I haven't posted any episodes Um, in the past three weeks and that is with reason I have been unwell and still on the mend Um, so I haven't been able to record any episodes unfortunately but I am feeling better and able to record episodes again uh, which is just fantastic and I'm so happy and I'm so excited about that thank you God (laughs) Um, but I want to say a huge thank you to those who checked up on me um they noticed that I hadn't posted any episodes and they checked up on me. Um, I um, Thank you so, so much. I'm so, so grateful. You've made me feel so, so special. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May God bless you richly. Thank you so, so, so much. So in today's episode, I want to share with you um, something that God laid on my heart um, in the past week. And it's about the fact that there's so many of us who are currently feeling a huge level of overwhelm um, as they as you're navigating this season in your life as a Christian, as a child of God. And that overwhelm is presented in, it presenting itself for different reasons so for each person obviously each each reason for the overwhelm is different for some of us it's because of the many things going on in the world it's just too much it's just so many atrocities and injustice and you're feeling like almost helpless like you don't know what to do or how to handle it or um And for some people, it's that there's just so much going on in your life and it's just so overwhelming. For some people, it's like you've barely recovered from one trial and another comes along and another comes along and it's all just so, so, so overwhelming. And God laid Psalm 61 from verse 1 to 4 on my heart. And it's um, it's quite interesting how I get word sometimes like scripture just laid on my heart. Sometimes it comes in in, in a song, <laughs> and this one it came in a song. <laughs> um, Psalm sixty one from verse one to four. I'm going to read it, read it. Um, and in this episode, I'm reading the NLT version. I'm usually an ESV girl, but I'm reading um from the NLT version of the Bible this time around. So Psalm 61 from verse 1 to 4. O oh God, listen to my cry. Hear my prayer. From the ends of the earth, I cry to you for help when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the towering rock of safety. For you are my safe refuge. A fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. Let me live forever in your sanctuary, safe beneath the shelter of your wings. This psalm is a reminder for us as children of God that in this season of overwhelm, we can cry out to God for help. And he will lead us to the towering rock of safety. He will gather us in his arms where we are safe. 
In verse 3, David said, For you are my safe refuge. God is our safe refuge. He's our fortress. Where our overwhelm, our troubles cannot reach us. And of course, our prayer is that we will live forever in his sanctuary, safe beneath the shelter of his wings. So that even in the midst of our overwhelm, even in the midst of all of the chaos going on around us and all of the things that we're going through, we can have that peace we can rest assured beneath the shelter of his wings. As I sat down and I just read those four verses over and over again and just pondered on it and I just allowed the words to wash over me. I just started thinking and just started just Blessing God and just saying, Lord, you are the only constant. And we can rest assured that you will answer when we cry out. Even in those times that we don't feel like he's there. Or those times that we can't sense him. And I'm putting that in quote. Because even though we can't sense him, he's there with us. Even in those times that we feel like, I can't hear you, Lord. He is still speaking. He is speaking. He's there. Even in the silence, he's there. In the noise and the chaos, he's there. So I want to encourage you. To just cry out to the Lord. Call out to him. In the midst of the chaos, call out to him. He will always answer. And he will always take care of you. Remember that the Lord is your shepherd. And you shall not want. Remember That even when you walk through the darkest valley, you will not be afraid. Because God is right by your side. His rod and his staff protect and comfort you. Remember that he renews your strength. In Psalm 121, it says, I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let you stumble. The one who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon at night. The Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go, both now and forever. So you can depend on God for help. You can cry to him for help in this season of overwhelm. I want to encourage you not to let that overwhelm cause you to to be silent or be quiet. Cry out to God for help. And he will always, always answer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for always being there for us meeting us at every point of our need. Lord, I thank you that we can cry out to you in the midst of our overwhelm, in the midst of all of the things that we are experiencing, 
and you will answer us. You will protect us. You will comfort us. You will keep us in peace, even in the midst of, midst of the chaos. And so, Lord, I pray for anyone listening to this, thinking, oh my goodness, yes, yes, this is me. I, I, yeah, I get it. I pray, Lord, that you visit with them. You would strengthen them. You will comfort them. You will be their refuge, their strength, their succor their fortress I pray that you keep them I pray peace upon them I pray that you calm the storm around them and that even though there's chaos and there's just so many things going on that they would be at peace Because they know that they have you. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do for us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for being such a good, good father. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this episode. I will catch you next week on another episode of the Be Encouraged, Be Inspired podcast. Take care. God bless. Bye. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Be Encouraged, Be Inspired. Be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app so you don't miss the next episode. God bless.